In this video, we are going to learn about normality. Normality, by definition, it's number of equivalent per liter. Normality is mostly used in uh, acid-base titration, redox reaction, and precipitation reaction. We are going to see four scenarios when normality is used in acids, bases, salts, and redox reactions. Let's dive in first to the acid and to see how we can find the normality. So we have sulfuric acid, one molar. We need to find its normality. Its normality is equal to A multiplied by Cm. This A here, or whatever letter you can see through different books, is number of equivalents per mole. So equivalents per mole. In the case of sulfuric acid, or in acids in general, we are going to look at the number of hydrogens that they contain. In the case of sulfuric acid, we have two hydrogens which means the number of equivalent per mole is 2 equivalent per mole. So the normality of this solution is going to be 2 equivalent per mole because it contains two hydrogens multiplied by its one molar. You have to know that molar concentration is number of moles diluted in one liter of solution. So we have one mole over one liter. So mole with mole simplify is going to be 2 normal. Here is a reaction that demonstrates that we have two equivalent per mole of the sulfuric acid that needs two moles of sodium hydroxide, which is a base, which we will talk in a moment how to find the equivalent, multiplied by one equivalent that this base contains, that is the number of hydroxides that we will talk later. So we need number of equivalents to be equal in order for the reaction to proceed completely to the products, in this case of the titration. This formula here we are going to see below. Take a look at this example. Find the normality of a solution that contains 30 grams of sulfuric acid in 500 milliliters of the solution. So by now we know that the normality is equal to equivalent per liter. But we know also this formula that this mass of the solute that are the same of the solute divided by the volume of the solution, multiplied by equivalent weight. First, I want to explain what is equivalent weight. Equivalent weight is its molar mass divided by the equivalent that the compound contain, contains. So, in, this in the case of the sulfuric acid, equivalent weight is going to be molar mass divided by the two equivalents per mole, because it contains two hydrogens. So, if you want to find that, equivalent weight is going to be 98 is the molar mass of the sulfuric acid divided by 2 equivalent per mole. Mole with mole simplifies. 98 divided by 2 is going to be 49 grams per equivalent. This is the equivalent weight that can be replaced here. Volume of the solution needs in liters, so it's going to be 0.5 liter. And the mass of the solute is 30 gram. So from here, we can find the normality of this solution. In this formula here, if that I like the most, if we, for all kinds of concentrations, if we separate the numerator with a denominator, we can find first a denominator that is in liter, 0.5 liter, that we have already, by, by using the 500 milliliter, and equivalent that is equal to mass of the compound given, in this case, 30 gram of sulfuric acid multiplied by how many equivalents does the sulfuric acid has? It has two equivalents because it contains two hydrogens that are capable of reacting acid base titration. And two equivalents correspond to one mole. One mole of sulfuric acid converted to the grams, referring to the periodic table, is 98 grams. So from here we can find immediately the number of equivalents. So it's going to be 0.61 equivalent. And this one is going to be replaced here and we can find the normality. In both cases, it's going to be the same. It's up to you what you choose to solve this kind of problems. So in this case, it's going to be 1.22 normal. And this case is going to be again, for this case here, it's going to be again 1.22 mole normal. Okay. These are the two ways to find the normality of an acid. The same thing applies for bases and for salts. For example, we have a base, sodium hydroxide. 
How many equivalents does this, ba does this base have? have? It is related to the number of hydroxide ions. In this case, it's one, so it contains one equivalent. And if we want to find the equivalent weight, it's going to be molar mass divided by one equivalent. You will see that the molar concentration is equal to the normal concentration. Keep in mind something that normal concentration can be higher or equal to molar concentration. In this case, is the case with a equal normal if equal concentration. If we take, for example, calcium hydroxide that contain two hydroxy ions, we can see that number of hydroxy ions in this case is equal to two. So the number of equivalents is two equivalents. And the equivalent weight for this compound is going to be molar mass divided by two equivalents per mole. This is for bases. Let's move now for salts. Let's take a look at this salt, aluminum sulfate. Aluminum sulfate. In the case of salts, in order to find the equivalent, we are going to use the number of atoms of the metal, that is case are 2, multiplied by its valence, that is 3. So it's 6 equivalent. So equivalent weight is going to be molar mass divided by 6 equivalent per mole for the salts. Let's move now to another case. We have now the case with redox reactions. In redox reactions, in this case, we, are, we have it in basic medium. I have already balanced this equation because the point of this video is to explain the normality, not to explain the redox reaction. Here is simple. It looks confusing at first glance, but it's simple. You have to look at the electrons that are donated or accepted by the compounds involved in the redox reaction. In this case, we see that thiosulfate is this one, that is one mole of thiosulfate has donated eight electrons. This eight electrons is the equivalent per mole of this compound in this type of reaction. And we have also OCl minus, that is hypochlorite, that this accepts two electrons, takes two electrons. In this case, the equivalent of this compound is going to be two equivalent per mole. In this case, was eight equivalent per mole. So it is related to the number of electrons that are exchanged. Be careful at one point, because this was an exam question. The point is that when you balance this equation, you see that even here, you apply by four and you have eight electrons and eight electrons in order to simplify and to balance the redox reaction. But the point is that you are interested in equivalence per mole. It's better to know that here for one equivalent, for one mole, you have two electrons accepted. These two electrons represent the number of equivalents per mole because it's one mole. And here, that is one mole, directly you know that it, is, it, is don it has donated eight electrons are eight equivalents per mole. If we want to convert the molar concentration of thiosulfate and the hypochlorate here, we are going to use this number of electrons or this equivalence generated by this number of electrons to find. So in the case of thiosulfate, SO2, 3, 2 minus is going to be A or number of equivalents is eight equivalent per mole multiplied by 0 0.05 mole per liter. That is the concentration molar. So it's going to be 0 0.4 normal. And for the OCL minus, it's going to be, normality is going to be 0 0.1 molar multiplied by 2 equivalent per mole or 0 0.2 normal. These are the concentrations. So again, because this is the most confusing part, in the redox reaction, keep track of electrons that are donated or accepted per mole. Or if there are more than one, you are going to simplify that to keep that for mole. Okay, that's it for this video. Hope this video was helpful a little and helped a little bit you to clarify the normality. And thank you so much for watching and see you in the next video. Peace.